How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber release. I'm very very excited because finally we have Adventure Friends Part 2 or should I say Doki Doki Literature Club Part 2. Okay but before we get into the main quest, let us first go through some of the other changes that uh, brought uh, that was brought about with this week's release. Okay, <clears throat> So there is a new class, uh, apparently they call it the Student Class or Espenville Academy Uniform. Okay. It is more of a, I'll say joke class, okay, it costs 1000 DCs, I will be buying it and showcasing it later on in a video, okay, and everything does one hit, attack, 100% damage, defensive stuns, plus 180 to avoidance for 2 turns, 4 turn cooldown, stun, 3 turn stun, 14 turn cooldown, aim, plus 30 bonus for 5 turns, including this attack, 4 turn cooldown, power, plus 75 boost attack, 0 cooldown, okay, so the bonus is actually loopable, it's nice though, it's not really OP since it's only 30 bonus. <coughs> Cleave. Hit all enemies for 120% damage, 2 turn cooldown, disarming strike. Minus 20 boost to 4 for 5 turns, 4 turn cooldown. Again, another loopable skill, so that's nice. Wound 20% dot for 5 turns, 4 turn cooldown. Once again, another loopable skill. And final, 150% damage plus 200 to crit, 9 turn cooldown. So it's essentially a very uh, basic warrior class, and that's about it. So big thanks to Jacelix for creating the art for the... Oh, there's customization options as well. Okay, we'll go and check that out later. Uh, updates and fixes. They added a skip dialogue button to Adventure Friends, both parts clicking will jump you ahead to the next major event. Added affinity pop-ups in the top right of Adventure Friends for easier tracking of your friendship with your fellow students. Fix the bug where guesses in Titan Battles will not scale properly. Ice Scythe activation chance increased to 7%. So I actually did not cover this on the last video but they actually brought it down to 5% from 10%. Okay and now they bumped it up to 7% again. <coughs> Health boost and ultra health boost values are halved for Dragon Bite Epoch. 1.5% down from 3% and 2.5% down from 5%. Okay, uh, not too sure how I feel about this. I guess it makes Epoch an even riskier class to use. High risk, high reward. Okay, very good burst damage but not so much uh, defensive capabilities. Okay, so with that out of the way, let us go ahead and check it out. Okay, because uh, I sort of forgot what I left off with at the first... Ooh! Uh, at the first part, so we are just going to reset everything and then Okay, Royal Blood Burns. Okay, we'll go and reset everything and then we will go ahead Wait, what? Oh Hold on We have to replay the ending of part 1 to continue. Interesting. Okay, so we left off with the My Royal Blood Burns. Suppose we went with the Jania option Okay, so now we have to no choice but to go to part 2. <coughs> oh, and there's a skip button here as well. Nice. Ooh, welcome to your doom from where you'll never escape. It's senior year forever and the annual quest venture is never going to happen. Mm. Try to make friends. You're going to need them when everything comes crashing down. Don't have any? Too bad. No one and I mean no one is going to find out what happened. You've only recently moved here, but while you might still be finding a place, there's no way you're going to escape for the rest of your lifetime. There's only one eternity left. Your goal. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. I get a message. This is... Uh-huh. Adventure Friends. Right. Okay. <coughs> and it's... Uh, okay. Weird glitches here and there. Everyone settles down. Uh, who are you? Wait, it's still happening, isn't it? Chill ages. Of course, it's still happening. Uh, it's still happening, right? I haven't been notified that it has been cancelled. And as student council president, I would certainly hope I would have been notified had any changes to such an important event occurred. Yeah, my thanks, Jenya. Such news is truly a relief to my royal ears. Indeed, until now I thought I had sent something already in the flow of destiny and I was indeed tempted to unveil my... Wait, no, stop. Okay, upside down. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't wait for the quest venture. Hmm. No, no, you two aren't supposed to be here. Jania, don't be mean. What did I do? Wait, what? Now that I mention it. Okay. And you can see the look on her face. Wow. Uh huh. Wait, why do I feel like we should be asking Korban what's going on? Everyone looks at you expectantly. What are you going to do? It's all on your shoulders. 
You have to make a choice. Everyone is counting on you and staring. Go on, choose already. There's only one right answer. The fear of everything depends on... Uh, I can see here... Easter eggs or something? I don't know. Hmm. Let's speak up. This is weird. I don't know what's going on, but we need to be careful. We need to stick together until we can figure out what's... <clears throat> okay, and you can see here on the right-hand side. You can see the friendship meter or something. Okay, so it got a plus one for everyone, I guess. You decide to stay silent because everything seems to be fine, really. Head home for the evening. Come on, what am I supposed to be reading here? You'll wait to find yourself in a safe place. It's cozy. You should stay for a while. Hello, is anyone there? There's no response. No one else is here with you. It's just you and the end of time, spiraling ever onward. This is peaceful. Calm. Drift. Relax. Close your eyes. Rest. Are you falling or rising? A voice floats into your space. Come on, wake up. Come on, wake up. Your your eyes open to the side of AJ's kneeling over you. He looks quite concerned. <clears throat> Thank the avatars, you're okay. You're okay, right? As I said before, you need not worry, AJ's. For while we are in the depths of this twisted reality, we are still connected by the bonds of our souls. I knew Korriban will not perish and he has not. Great, now she sounds like one of those anime characters, you know, through the power of friendship, we can accomplish anything, yay. <laughs> you look around the classroom, or what should be the classroom? Where there were once walls, there is open space, and from the far scattered and decayed remains of desks and chairs, massive trees reach to incalculable heights, they are bowls blocking out what sun there may be above. What, what happened? Where are we? You know, to be honest, I think it would be quite nice to have like an open classroom concept. Though I know, I, I don't know of any schools that actually practice this, but a classroom in the forest, think about it, I think that would be pretty nice, you know? I guess it's as good as ours. Seems like we all passed out or something and woke up. Whatever here is, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. We have fallen through the depths of madness, saved from certain doom, by the grace of my royal blood. And from that trial, we have emerged into this purgatory from whence we must escape. I see. Yashta, what do you make of all this? Yashta? We look around for Yash time, find him sitting at the base of one of the giant trees, eyes closed. <coughs> I do not make anything from this. We are here, we should not be here. I am meditating on how we may remove ourselves from here. Look at that. He is ripped, dude. There's no way out, there isn't. We could go in any direction for days and just find more trees. We do not know that. We are doomed, we are never going to escape. No, I can feel a path, I know the way, my royal blood. <laughs> Victoria, your blood is as royal as this cup of dirt on the ground. Now is not the time to be lost in fantasy. Oh my gosh, that burn. Savage, Aegis. Savage. You're wrong, Aegis. For through passing through the recent tribulations, I've awakened to the ultimate real truth of my being. This is my destiny to save us. Excuse me, your majesty, but you're both being too loud. I cannot focus. Frustrated eye spirit noises. Aegis looks like he's about to explode, while Victoria is confidently trying to drag Yashta in, whatever direction she thinks is right. Yashta, on the other hand, is trying his best to meditate and think. It's up to you to unify this divided community. Uh, let's see here. I think I'll calm down Aegis. Aegis, calm down please, we need you here with us. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, you're right. I'm panicking, we are lost, I don't know what to do. But I do, guided by my royal blood and the thread of destiny, I know the way to go. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to believe you, Victoria. I really do. But how can you be so sure you're right? Can you maybe explain more? To describe the weave of fate and destiny as interpreted by my royal blood, it will be a challenge. Can you try for me, for all of us? I believe I can. Wait, really? Seriously? You're going with the weirdo? Okay. Surprisingly, Aegis is paying rapt attention, and after a while, Yashta walks over to observe as well. Victoria excitedly begins explaining with great flourish and exaggeration. Surprisingly, Aegis is paying oh, wait a minute. Victoria then spends what feels like hours carving a map into the trunk of a nearby tree while explaining how each turn, each loop, each step and backtrack through the forest is essential to altering the web of fate. Okay, uh Pogo. And there is where the portal shall emerge. After receiving the touch of a true knight, loyal to the royal bloodline. Together we shall defy this twisted destiny that we find ourselves and trapped in. I see. All this was inside your head. This is incredible. Almost reverently, Aegis runs his hand across the carved tree bark. 
Following the map and as he reaches the end, the bug suddenly splits under his touch, revealing light from the car of the bug. Um, Victoria, was that supposed to happen? The web of fate, at your touch it unravels and reforms. You are a defier of prophecies, a weaver of change. Is that a good thing? We have come to accept the power bestowed upon you by our fated soul bond, and the path now op opens now for you. Sorry, there's some sirens going out my window. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I apologize for that. Victoria's words come true now a moment later, when the bark creaks and curls, forming a portal in the side of the massive tree trunk. Light pours from it, illuminating the, darkest, the darkened forest floor. This, this is our way out, opened by a being of power, not of royal blood, but destiny defying all the same. Let us away from this place before the web of doom entraps us once more. Truly well done, Sir Aegis. With those words of praise, Victoria confidently steps through the portal into the light. Yashta gives Aegis a nod of approval before following after. Now just you and Aegis remain in the forest. I still don't know what I did, but maybe there's something to Victoria's royal blood. Regardless, I wanted to thank you. Thanks for staying by my side even when I got a bit frustrated. You're a good friend. Whatever this soul bond thing is that Victoria thinks we're all bound by, I'm glad it happened. Aegis mounts and heads into the light of the portal, and so you take a final deep breath of the forest air and jump through after him. Why are you heading home for the evening? Just jump through the portal. <coughs> okay. Uh huh. Ah. Who, what, where? Well, baby, how do you feel? What happened? Where is where is everyone? Oh, hold on. Let me hide my helmet first. Hold on, wait, what? Can I hide it in the middle of a quest? It's not supposed to be shown, right? Okay, let me just unequip the damn thing. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Memory loss, confusion. Hold up. This is not even equipped anymore, isn't it? Oh, okay, okay. The quest venture. The what? That's a ridiculous name for well, anything, baby. Okay. This is a bit weird. Was it all a dream then? A magical spirit journey of the soul, baby. Or oh, that's what it was supposed to be anyway. I think. I think I need a refresher. Can you remind me is what exactly I was helping you with? Sure, baby. You very graciously decided to help test my brand new line of love potions. They reveal your one and only true love. You drank it down, check, passed out, check, and then you awoke, check, baby, check. So do you work? Do you find your one and only true love? Uh, no, I wasn't exactly simping for anyone in particular though. Definitely not Victoria. <laughs> I I don't think of, any of it was canon. I see, I see. So it was a little too unrealistic. Mm -hmm. Seemed totally platonic to me. For this next dose, I'll try reducing the amount of top essence. See if that helps. Hang on a minute. I think I've had enough for now. Ah well, that's a shame, but you've been the most valuable test subject, baby, so I can't say you haven't helped. Um, right. Linger, uh, malaise and apathy must beware of long-term effects. What was that? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Just making some notes. You know how it is, baby. Now, if you aren't going to be a good lab mouse, I must ask that you vacate your seat for someone else. When you're finished having an existential crisis, but was any of it real? I guess I guess there's only one way to find out. Uh Okay. Hmm, choose someone to go on the quest venture. Let's try Arya. Sorry Ash, she's mine. <laughs> Arya, hi. Hello, what brings you to the store today? Ooh, and she is looking different. Four words. Giant fluffy talk quest venture. Or is that five words? Well, however many there is want to go on a quest venture? Oh, I'm sorry. There's just so much to do around a pet shop these days. And I don't think cleaning litter boxes is your idea of a quest venture. What? Aria, hi. Wait, why, why is this box here? Is this a glitch or something wrong? Oh, okay. So that was it. That was it. We got rejected. Oh, man. Inventory full. Damn it. Uh, let me just go and sell something. What's no, definitely not that. Ring of the Desert Prince. Let's just destroy this. Okay. <coughs> okay, so that was it. Uh, maybe you're supposed to pick the one that you get. Uh, that you have the most friendship with. 
and then they will accept I don't know okay uh let's go for adventure friends part one we just skip through all of that hmm okay Which subcommittee were we a part of again? I can't remember. Oh, I think we joined decorations. Yep, okay, let's go back to leadership. Plus one Jenya, plus one Tomics. Yep, okay, so I'm going to skip through all of this from part one. Okay, if you guys missed out part one, you can play through it yourself because that is what I really recommend. Alternatively, if you don't like to play through it for whatever reason, you guys can watch my part one video and I'll link it to the card on the top right hand corner right now so you can see my playthrough of part one. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's all be friends. Why not? Okay, the friendship counter is making a bit more sense now. Uh, let's start with Tomics. Plus one Tomics. Okay, Tomics is our highest right now. <coughs> skip. Oh, okay. You can skip this. Uh, speak up. Skip. Uh, why me? What does this do? Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Plus one Tomics and I think that was a plus one Jania as well. Skip. Uh, whatever. Let's agree. Oh, Elzane, Ash, and Victoria. Okay. Jenya and Arya. Right. Now let's go for part 2 to see what we have. Oh, wait. Hold on. I should probably read through all of this. This is new. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, This is the same thing, right? Okay. The same. <laughs> and okay. This is the same. This is the same. We have a few more jump scares of that red thingy. Some people managed to take a screenshot of that and was some weird tree eye feature or some creepy looking thing. Okay, uh don't exactly know what it is. Some people speculated it could be the work of Secundus of Val, some people speculated it could even be the next Malerus, but you know, it turns out it was just a non-canon Heroes Hard Day release. At least that's what I think it is. Uh, let's say nothing this time. Okay, you don't get a minus, but uh, you do get a plus if you say something. Interesting. Anyone else here not understand what Ash is saying? Enunciate Ash, enunciate. I can't either. I I don't know what's happening. Okay, a little bit different from just now. You're going to find yourself in a safe place. It's cozy, you should say. This is the same. <clears throat> hey, we need you awake. Oh, okay. Uh, the classroom isn't outside anymore. Interesting. Tomics, how what is this the classroom? Where else would it be? You scared me for a moment there. You and Jenya, it seems like we all passed out or something. I woke up first and then got Jenya up, but well, this this is all wrong. No, 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 no. She's just been ignoring me after waking up. Maybe you can get through to her. Hey, Jenya, what's going on? Are you okay? How, how haven't you noticed? Look out the windows. You and Tommy take a peek out of the classroom, or you try to. Greeting your eyes are more desks, more chairs, more blackboards, and beyond the windows of that classroom. Oh god, it's every kid's worst nightmare. It's an endless classroom. Oh god. <laughs> It's just more classrooms. It's just more classrooms stretching on to infinity. We are trapped. There's no escape. Everyone else, everything else is gone. There's no escape. That's certainly a problem, but there has to be some way out, right? I, I need to stop looking through the windows. It's making me dizzy. You look out once more into the endless sea of desks and chairs. Is there really no way out? What happened to the rest of your classmates? But you have two here right now who need your help. Uh, let's sim for atomics. Let's see what happens. Come on, Tomix, what's a dizzyingly infinite challenge to a pair of delinquents like us? Nothing, that's what. You're right, you're right. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Thanks for reminding me how awesome we are. You know it, Jenny, we're going to find a way out of here. You should come too. Don't don't leave me here by myself. 
Of course, you're not going to a uh, little typo here. Leave you, Miss Student Council President. What we do without our subcommittee leader? Everyone's counting on me. I'm the leader. Yeah, we are the leadership community. We are going. We've got to escape, if only to make sure everyone else is okay. Right? You're right, both of you. I, I apologize for my moment of weakness. It happens, Jenny, and I don't blame you. This is really messed up. Looks like we, are, we have a long way ahead of us wherever we are going. And so the leadership committee sets out through the wilderness of infinite classrooms, climbing through windows, camping beneath desks, and strengthening their bonds of friendship, never once again entertaining the thought of giving up. Until at last. Hey, you two, what's that over there? Do you see that? Like, that's different. That's different. The screen in the Daishan point, it, Tomics is pointing. Could it be? I think that's our way out, friends. I don't dare hope. No, we've come this far, even if it's some trick or some other trial. That's why, Jania, we won't give up. We'll keep pressing on. We'll find our way out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very anime vibes to me. Power of friendship, never giving up, you know, the standard stuff. And that until the leadership committee finds the power to push on, reaching toward the... Uh, another typo here? I don't know. The light? Or was this intentional? Until, our, until you all arrive at one final window. The light now is almost unbearable. You all look at each other and you know what must be done. Jania goes first, crawling through and disappearing into the light. Tomix follows after. There's no going back now. Uh, as the light envelops you, everything seems to slow down. <coughs> uh, same ending. This is the same ending. Oh, and there was a moment there where the wings weren't shown, okay? Not sure if that was intended. Actually, let me take a look. I want to see what the Aspen Veil backpack looks like. That's how the backpack looks like? Really? Oh, okay, it's very small. Almost not noticeable this armor. Alright. Was it odd? Uh, this is the same. I think if you get your friendship level up high enough, you are able to, you know, go on a quest venture that person talks. Oh, this is at night. Interesting. I don't know what I expected. Uh huh. Oh, so Tomix agree? Wait, that, that's a bit weird. Okay, if you guys play through the Tomix saga, okay, I don't really want to spoil too much here, but... Did Tomix agree and we are going to visit the grave, or is that... Tomix in the grave? Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's continue playing through to see what else we have, okay. Uh, let's skip this. Let's do activities this time. I really do appreciate the skip dialogue feature. It saves a lot of time and clicking. <coughs> I wanna try Aria again. What if we... Sim for her all the way. Okay, let's see. Get home. Skip. Speak up. Uh, argument again. Let's choose Ash. Uh, hmm. Say nothing. Plus one Jenya, plus one Arya. Okay. I think you need to get your friendship level with some, with a person up to a certain level before you can, before they actually uh, don't reject you or something like that. Okay, so for the most part, it is the same. Yeah, for the most part, the dialogue and everything is the same. Okay, to be very fair, I still don't really get what this entire storyline is about, other than it just being a weird dream. Uh, 
I woke up in the classroom here and you were all knocked out with me. It took some time but I got you all up eventually. You must have been having some dream, huh? You definitely slept the longest. Come on, it wasn't a competition. Haha, <laughs> no, but maybe. Maybe I should have slept a little longer. This is where well. we are in quite the situation. Look out the windows. Follow Ash's directions and peek outside the windows, but there's nothing beyond. Only darkness. You stare for what seems like minutes before a hand grabs your shoulder and pulls you back. Whoa there, don't go falling out. We need you here with us. I threw a pencil out earlier and just kept falling under. I couldn't see anymore. Really spooky. What about the door? I tried it. It's more of the same. Well, that's okay. You can just wait here until someone rescues us. Yeah, don't worry. They've got to know they are missing four awesome students. They'll find us. They got her. In the meantime, we stay at each other's company and that's what matters. Everything will be just fine. It will be just fine, won't it? Or is the activity subcommittee being too lame? There has to be something you can do, right? Uh, let's sim for Arya all the way. Let's see what happens. Wait, Arya, what about the petting zoo? The creatures need to take care of them, don't they? Guess you're right. Oh, come on. Thinking of the petting zoo at this time, really? When we're all about to die, stuck in some weird dimension and you can think about the petting zoo okay never mind how could i have forgotten oh no i don't think jenny will be able to sort out their diets or groom them properly <clears throat> no no we're getting out of here the petting zoo needs us okay but how are we going to do that we're doing something we're doing something all i know is nothing's gonna stop us yeah okay uh she's a bit hyperactive elzane stomps the foot down for emphasis but yeah elzane do that again hit the floor again Huh? Sure, let me just... She stumps on the floor again, but it doesn't sound normal. As, almost as if it's hollow. Maybe there's a way out below us. Let's go. There's no time to waste. With that, Arya picks up a chair and starts smashing against the flu. <laughs> Elzin and Ash join in while we try to make sure no one's being too unsafe. After a short while, there's a sudden loud load. A splintering noise. Stop, stop, stop. I think we are almost... There's a loud crunch as the floor gives way. The four of you are plunged into darkness as the light of the classroom fades. Far, far away above you, landing of a series of four tarts on something soft. See, we are just fine. Ah, I was saying, what's that you? I feel like there's going to be a jump scare here. I might have a mighty appetite, but not that mighty. <clears throat> okay, no jump scare. Your eyes slowly begin adjusting to the darkness. As you start to move, however, you... You, that, what you've all landed on is fluffy. Overly fluffy, perhaps, and it's beginning to move. You, that, what you've all landed on is... Okay, there's a little bit of a... There's some basic spelling and grammatical errors here, but uh, not anything major that actually interrupts the flow of the story. So, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but, you know, just putting this out there. Um, everyone, we might want to hold on to something. You all hang on tight to the wall of what is now becoming clear as an enormous, gigantic, massive, fluffy top. It rises from its disturbed slumber and shakes. Everyone is barely holding on when one giant foot step after another the talk begins to walk. Not daring to speak, you all shift to better positions on his back, wondering where this talk could possibly be going in the darkness. Soon, a walk turns into a gallop as the talk begins sprinting through the inky dark. You're keeping your head down low when Aria taps your shoulder and points ahead. Light, the talk is running towards a speck of light in the distance. With hope-filled hearts, the activities community silently separates atop the back of their giant steed. Eventually approaches the light, and begin to slow. With a shake, it settles down as if encouraging its riders to disembark. Everyone does so. Bok. Thanks, Talk. That was that was quite the ride. Bok. Bok. Okay, charges safely delivered. The Talk stands up and begins to continue its journey into the darkness. Now they are closer, the light appears to be coming from around the edges of a door frame. Elzane steps out and throws it open, bathing the activity subcommittee in harsh white light. Oof, that's bright, but I bet it's our way out here. I'll take it. What's the worst that could happen, right? I was saying Ash stepped through the door, leaving you and Arya bathed in his inviting glow. Hey, I know I'm not the best adventurer here. Not like Elzane and Ash, haha, but I was wondering if when we get out here, when we get back to school, I mean... Oh, okay. So now she's going to accept us. We have to decide now. I just thought this was a good time to ask. Nice. <laughs> R.I.P. Ash. Okay, so if you sim for Arya all the way, this is what happens. Interesting. Oh, okay, I'm going to try simping for Tomics all the way, they don't really do anything. Interesting. Okay, uh, we'll go for Arya again. Let's see if there's a difference here. <coughs> that sounds fun, but a giant fluffy talk? I don't think talks are all that fluffy. Are they? Well, I'm sure we can try. Okay, happy ending. Nice. 
You and I Oh, okay, this is a different ending. You and Aragorn, what can only be described as a petting spree. Petting all the animals in her store. <laughs> what? What am I reading? A petting spree. Sorry, guys. Uh, try, trying to keep this child-friendly right here. Petting. Oh my god, okay, never mind. Then heading out into the forest to find more animals to pet. Unfortunately, the overly fluffy top eluded you. Regardless, it was an exhilarating quest venture. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, hold on. Wait. Damn it. I should have prepared for this. Oh my god, I should have prepared more inventory slots for this. Interesting, I didn't know that. Uh, you can get one for- But, you know, here's the- Oh god. The damn thing disappeared. <sighs> What's the difference? It's just a freaking- Yeah, it's just an animal logo on the back there. No, here's the thing, this backpack is not DC, it's not DA tag, so it takes up a storage space. That's the annoying part that I didn't like. Ah, oh well. Okay, let's go on to the next part. <coughs> I simp for Atomics all the way, but all I got was a freaking tombstone. Okay, uh, let's go for, let's sim with, sim for Jania all the way, let's see what happens there. Okay, so for 90% of the part, the dialogue is the same and you basically just get different endings. The middle part is pretty much all the same, right? Skip this. Side with Jania, plus one Jania. Wonder how it's like to be in a relationship with an alpha woman like Jania. That'll be interesting. Uh... Speak up. Tommy is Yashta Victoria. Okay, that didn't really help. <coughs> Plus one Tomics. Really? Was there a Jania behind hidden behind there? Jania <coughs> uh, and Arya, okay. Go for part 2 now. Skip this. And in the end, you still don't get to see what all these black boxes are covering, which kind of annoys me. Okay, maybe at some point, you will be able to see it. I don't know. But, uh, when will that actually happen? Like, must you play through all the different endings before you get to, before all the boxes are unveiled or what? Do you ever get to see it? That's That's my question. Uh, can't keep up Okay so Yeah for the most part The dialogue is a little different But I really just want to see the ending Okay so depending on the choices you make The dialogue is a little bit different But I really just want to see the difference in the endings So I'm just going to skip through all the middle dialogue Since most of it is the same Jania <coughs> Okay Is there a reason why you're here? Actually, yes, I had this really insane dream and I don't know if it was actually a dream and well. Do you want to go on a quest venture with me? Quest what? Don't be ridiculous. No, get out. What? Come on. After all of that? Really, Jania? After all of that? After all we've been through? How could you? I wonder if there's a way to make them agree though. Okay, let's sim for Ash all the way now. Oh, okay. Let's try. Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, right. Uh Ash is on Arya's side, so let's side with Arya. Okay, uh that didn't do anything for Ash. Up. 
Comics Yashta Victoria. Okay. Choose Ash. Or maybe some characters are just, you know, they're just destined to reject us. Like, you won't stand a chance either way. Why you say nothing here? Oh, plus one Jenny and Arya. Okay. Oh, maybe... Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you didn't sim for her all the way. Hold up. Some parts, if you say nothing, you get a plus one to other people. Oh, okay. Now, maybe I did that wrongly. Whoopsies. <clears throat> yeah, there are some parts where you need to say something and some parts you need to say nothing at all to get a plus one. Oh, okay. But I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's skip this. Last one, Ash. Okay, pretty sure this was simping for Ash all the way. Let's see what we have here. Choose Ash. Hey Ash. Hi, what's up? Is there a problem? No, no. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but um, I had this dream. Okay. You want... Uh, uh, well, any other time, I'll probably say yes, but I don't quite have the time for a quest venture. I'm sorry, I have a lot of new responsibilities now. What? Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. I thought if you sim for all the nice characters, they will accept. Because that was what happened for Arya, right? Or maybe some characters you need to play a little bit harder to get. This is interesting. Okay, this is interesting. Let's side with uh, LZ all the way right now. See what happens. Yeah, maybe some characters you need to play a little hard to get. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, Elzin is really a mood. <laughs> we'll fight the petting zoo and then we'll start a bonfire. Really speaking my language right there. Okay. Skip this. Uh, Jania Ash ages. Maybe she has spoke up there. Interesting. Okay. <coughs> Say nothing. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. Maybe I'm not. Uh, speak up. Okay. Got a plus one for LZ. So far, we're only able to get the happy ending with Arya. Interesting. And it seems like the way to get there with her is just to sim for her all the way. Interesting. And for the other characters, they seem to maybe want you to play a little bit harder to get or something. Yeah, I think this is not going to work either. Hmm. For you? Sure. What do you need? want to go on a quest a quest venture sounds interesting but oh come on come on really rejected again sounds interesting but you have other more important things to do what could be more important than a quest venture come on a quest venture with the well-known hero of falcon reach no less uh let's sim for victoria all the way this is kind of weird but okay not sure why I want to sim for her, but let's go, let's go. <coughs> I was in Yashta and Arya. <coughs> I think there's just way too many choices for me to play through everything. Okay, I honestly don't know what I need to do to get the happy endings with some of them. 
Let's pick up. Okay. Uh huh. I think if you sing for Victoria all the way, it'll probably work. Telling her about her royal blood and all of that. It'll be quite interesting to see the hero going on a quest venture with Victoria, the Queen of Sword Haven. Well, well. Uh, yes, your royal blood burns. Skip, uh, speed cup. Hit home. Oh wait, just now the royal blood burning, you can see the red color thingies in the background. Last time you couldn't, right? Yeah, last time I don't think you could. Just Victoria's instincts. Uh, okay, it's a little bit different. Oh, I think this is the happy ending with Victoria. Nice. Uh, the one, indeed, the one whom I asked will go on to the quest venture with me. This is a great privilege, being asked by a princess of royal blood, so you should not dare to reject my invitation. Okay, nice. <coughs> okay, so for the two girls in the class, if you side with them all of the way, then I think that's how you get the ending. Nice. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, what's up? Okay. I could definitely do with a break from well everything. Being royalty is way harder than people think. So yes, please lead the way. <clears throat> nice. Ooh, nice. Victoria. This one has a royal crown symbol on it. Okay. <clears throat> so the only difference is you get a small symbol on the side of the backpack. For getting happy ending with some of the characters. Okay, cool. Now, shall we start with Yashta? Let's try siding with Yashta all the way now. That guy is freaking ripped. Yashta just looks confused. Okay, Siding of Aegis is okay. Uh, Yashta seems unsure. Let's... You speak up your Siding of Victoria, right? Everyone else seems to think things are fine. Let's say nothing. Okay. Didn't get a plus one for Yashta there. Okay, I don't think this if this affects Yashta at all, so we we'll just skip this. <coughs> Maybe some of them require a perfect score, okay? Uh let's say nothing. Yeah, maybe some of them require a perfect score for them to go on a quest venture with you and I'm not getting the perfect score. Why did I press that? Sorry. Yeah, maybe some of them uh, require a perfect score and I'm not doing it correctly. Hit home. Okay. Yashta is the right idea. You did well. Thanks, but I did? Yes. There is a short pause while Yashta thinks about what to say next. I do not know how the custom works, but I'll be honored if you join me. Oh! I'll only be mildly disappointed. Nice. So we got a happy ending with Yashta. Nice, nice.
Okay, so so far we've done Arya, we've done Victoria, and we've got uh, Yashta. Okay, the rest, no. I did not think I'm hard to find. Was there something you needed? Yes, so I had this really weird dream. Okay. Same. I many duties as you nail, but I apologize, but I do not have time for this quest venture. What? Wait. <coughs> Wait, how come? How come? I thought... Wait a minute. I thought we had that. Hold on. What? Is this a bug? Like, is this a legitimate bug? I thought Yashta wanted to go on the quest venture. How come he suddenly rejected me? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Uh, let's try Aegis. I feel like we haven't tried Aegis. Okay, let's try Aegis and then we will call it a day. You guys can go ahead and play through the different endings on your own and let me know how everything goes, okay? I was in Yashta area, okay. Side with Aegis. I feel like for the nicer characters, all I have to do is like sim for them all the way to get the happy ending. And whereas for the more neutral characters, maybe you have to play a little bit hard to get. Okay, plus one for Aegis, that's the right choice. Plus another one for Aegis. Going on a date, I mean quest venture with your soul ally. Weird, but okay. Uh, say nothing. Jenya and Arya, okay. Yeah, you can see here. I, I don't remember if this was here before, but yeah, I, I am noticing it now. Uh, speak up. Okay. Come on. Ages. Let's go. Hey, before I escape this uh, purgatory, I just want to say that I'm glad you joined the decoration sub community. Not just because you helped me stay sane when Victoria's being well. I don't even know if she was just being weird anymore. Sorry anyway, what? Okay. So we should get it for ages. The Yashta one is kind of weird because I, I thought he would accept. But apparently he didn't. Uh, ages. I appreciate you asking. Of course, I'll go on this quest venture or whatever. Sounds interesting. Nice. Nice. Okay. Ages. Uh, it has a... What shape is that? Deathmark shaped charm. Interesting. Uh, I can't really tell what it is. Okay. All you get are different backpacks. Okay, the only complaint that I have here is make the backpacks DC tech or, or DA tech at least. Okay, maybe not DA tech if you want to be friendlier to the non DA players, but at least make it DC tech so that you know it's free storage. Like, there is just so many different backpacks to get out of this. Uh, anyways. Anyways, let us go ahead and check out the new class now. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Let me just chuck something in the bank real quick and then we'll test out the class. What do I want to chuck in the bank? Let's chuck Blade of All in the bank. Okay. Uh, okay, let me take a look at the stats for the backpack once again because I didn't really go through it. Bonus 5, MPM 5, Crit 5, BPD 5, uh, all 5. Okay, not, not fantastic, okay. And Aspenville Academy Uniform. Okay, let's buy this. RIP 1000 Dragon Coins. Probably will need to restock all my Dragon Coins soon. Okay, so let us equip the armor. Student class. 
let's see what we have here okay uh crit 10 bonus 9 health minus 2 immobility 40 okay let's go to our house and let's go and do some customizing okay Ooh, wow looking really smart okay academy sword the standard issue sword aspenville academy well the dream version of it at least interesting uh wait hold on where where is my armor customization it's here right loose tight no tie bow Ooh, okay let's see the tie okay loose and tight a bit hard to tell the difference but okay casual casual slash folded casual Ooh, ripped nice button button slash folded button slash ripped no coat vest sweater oh okay interesting arms we what do we have here okay uh arms can't be changed wait can the arms be changed nope no customization for the arms legs trousers skirt <laughs> skirt really okay for a male character leggings Tights, ooh, shorts. Uh, yeah, trousers looks the best here. There's no question. Uh, oh, you could look like the what's the name? Faust. Yeah, you could look like Faust with his with this uh build. So that's kind of nice. Body. Uh, what do I want to go for body here? Casual, casual folded, casual ripped. Button looks really smart. Button and folded. This looks a bit weird. Button and ripped. I feel like I want to go casual. As for the tie, uh, let's see. <coughs> Personally, I hate wearing ties and I can't even remember when was the last time I wore one. Probably worn a tie like less than five times in my entire life. Uh, maybe even less than three times. I don't know. Bow looks pretty smart as well. Hmm. Almost makes me look like some sort of butler. Okay, uh... I think I'll go with the bow. Okay, so we'll do this. Let's leave. Let's go and test this out on the green screen. Okay. So my stats are obviously not the best for damage. Like a warrior, you probably want to go pure strength. And also uh, maybe a mix of endurance and wisdom. Okay, hit it. Let's go for... 5000 HP should be more than enough. Okay. Very, very simple. Let's attack. One hit. Okay, so just a standard one hit. I've studied for this. Yes, you have. Okay, gives MPM. Uh, that's good. Stun. Aim. Bonus, stunned, power, okay, multi, one, okay, disarming strike, uh, the animations are all the same, yeah, the animations are all the same, okay, final, hmm, Okay, uh, not a very exciting class. I mean, I don't expect anything much out of this class, to be honest. Uh, it's more of a joke slash cosmetics class. That's really all there is to it. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and that's basically it, I guess. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about it. I think for cosmetics class, it looks really good. Considering all of the customization options that you have, but in terms of uh, practicality, not a very practical class. Verly did say on Discord he is looking forward to see people doing challenges with this. Which I'm sure you can with the best in slot gear and all that. But uh, maybe the more simpler challenges. And that is going to be it for this week's Super Long Adventure Friends video. Let me know what you guys uh, think down in the comments below. And of course if you like this video, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content did you guys manage to get all of the good endings and if you did did you discover anything special any easter eggs did they eventually remove all the black boxes allowing you to read the dialogue let me know okay and till the next time i'm your host korban gaming peace out